Hello, I'm J.B. Heron with the Old School Gun School. Let's imagine, if you will, the aftermath of a lethal force encounter. What did you really see and what did you imagine? Let's take a look. Recognizing the difference between what you actually perceived with your senses and what your imagination might have filled in. Be practical and pragmatic about that. What did you really see as opposed to well, I didn't really see this, but, but it had to be logically this way. There's nothing logical about any of this, okay? So if you didn't see it, hear it, taste it, feel it, perceive it with one of your senses, then you really are not in a position to talk about it because all you're doing is guessing. The law is a very complicated thing. There are many myths floating around about gun law and home defense. Unfortunately, too many of my friends believe all of them. You just don't shoot a guy for walking in your house in the middle of the night stealing your television. You uh, really have to be under threat. The laws are written to protect even the burglars from undue violence. But if they do threaten your health, your life, extreme body damage, you may defend yourself. But it's not quite the way you read about on the internet or hear from your friends. You may sometimes get involved in a shooting and defending yourself or your family. But the next step is you have to win the court battle. And beyond that, there may be a civil suit. These things are hidden from us in our society. We just don't talk much about them. And we should know.